What's good guys, Jonathan here and welcome to the Ultimate Back to School Tech Guide. So first up, we're gonna take a look at one of the most essential items you could possibly need for school, and that is a backpack. Now, if you don't have a ton of cash, the Amazon Basics laptop backpack is only 30 bucks, and like the name implies, it's basic, but it does the job and then some. This will fit laptops up to 17 inches, has five compartments and a solid amount of sections and pockets. Now, if you're looking for something with a little more style and don't need a ton of compartments, the Retreat by Herschel Supply Company is a killer option and looks fantastic. It'll fit laptops up to 15 inches, has a solid amount of space in front for everything else, and has tons of padding on the shoulder straps. One of my favorite things about this, though, is the fact that the straps are magnetic, which lets you get in and out quick without screwing around with zippers. On top of that, it's unisex, so it's really popular with girls, but guys can rock it, too. Next up is the Timbuktu Parkside Laptop Backpack, which has an awesome balance of both looks and functionality and like the retreat it'll also fit laptops up to 15 inches there's also an additional compartment where you store your pencils and smaller stuff and then on the front there's two zip pockets for things you need quick access to next up we're going to take a look at one of the most requested and recommended pieces of tech for back to school and that is a power bank a power bank battery pack power bank battery pack external batteries man you need external batteries when you go back to school it's a must so first up is the Amimo Ultra Slim credit card size external battery, which is only 4.5 millimeters thin. It also has an LED display that shows remaining battery life and a battery capacity of 2000 milliamp hours. Now this RAV Power 3000 milliamp hour external battery is the Swiss army knife of external battery because on top of being just a battery, it's also an SD card reader and a wireless hub where you can stream and share your pictures, music, and movies to your phone, tablet, or laptop. Now, if you don't need as much functionality as the RAV Power, the KO Maxstar Mini is small but packs a punch. It's 5200 milliamp hours, has an LED flashlight, and also a battery meter. Now, if you're a power user and you need even more, the Anker Astro E5 packs 16,000 milliamp hours, which is battery for days. What's up, John? I'm looking for an affordable laptop, preferably one that can play League of Legends because my five-year-old HP DB6 just didn't cut anymore. So I snapped him back and more specifically, he was looking for something in the $600 range, which is tricky because for something like this, you definitely want dedicated graphics and in that price range, that is hard to find. But I think I found something from Acer. It's a little over $600, but the Aspire E5 573G 59C3 PC model numbers are way too long. I better not say that. I'm a Start a shitstorm. It's rocking an i5 5200U processor, which is two cores, four threads at 2.2 gigahertz. On top of that, you get eight gigs of RAM, and more importantly, a dedicated GPU with the NVIDIA 940M, which has two gigs of memory. Now, staying on the laptop theme, if you don't have a ton of cash and need something basic for taking notes in Google Docs, the ASUS Chromebook Flip is a killer option. It has a 10.1 inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1280 by 800. And like the name implies, it can be flipped 360 degrees and used in laptop or tablet mode. You get two gigs of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but you can expand upon that through USB and micro SD. Now this runs Chrome OS, so it does have its limitations. But again, if you need an inexpensive multifunction laptop for taking notes, this is something you should seriously consider. Next up is the Microsoft Surface 3, which might be the best option for a student looking for something in that five to $600 range that isn't looking for a gaming machine, but still wants something portable and functional. Now this features a 10.8 inch 1080p touchscreen display, two gigs of RAM, and comes with 64 gigs of storage as the base option, but also comes in a 128 gigabyte option for a hundred bucks more. One thing that sucks though, is the fact that the Surface 3 type cover and Surface Pen are sold separately. So keep that in mind when factoring in the total price, but they do round out the Surface 3 experience and it's nice that it ships with Windows 10. The built-in kickstand is a nice touch. It's fleshed out with ports and really the flexibility to use it as a tablet or a laptop, but have more power and functionality than a Chromebook is what makes it really attractive. What are some good back to school headphones? Now, as far as headphones go, if you just need a nice simple upgrade over what came with your smartphone, the Sony Extra Bass earbuds are a killer option and they're under 50 bucks. Now, if you're looking for something wireless and want the best of the best, these are the Jaybird X2 Sports. They look good, they sound great, and more importantly, they actually stay in your ear if you're active. 
Now, if in ear isn't your thing and you don't have that Beats by Dre money to spend, one of my favorite sets is the Sony MDR XB950 BT wireless headphones. These are super comfortable, have inline controls, and a bass boost button right on the headphones. Now, on the other hand, if you don't care about Bluetooth or need wireless, you can't go wrong with the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs. So, next up, we're going to take a look at Bluetooth speakers. And one of my favorite options out there right now is the UE Roll 360. This is waterproof, the 360 in the name means a 360 degree sound. It has a 65 foot Bluetooth range and a bungee cord. Now that's around 100 bucks, but if you need something a little bit cheaper, the next option is the House of Marley Chant Mini, which is around 50. It's light, it's portable, it looks great, has Bluetooth 4.1 and a six hour battery life. There's also a built-in mic for conference calls and it doesn't have a bungee cord, but it does have a clip that you can use for hanging on things like your backpack. Do you have any suggestions of a good external display monitor that's kind of portable for back and forth from university and it's also not a bulky desktop one? So the thing with portable monitors, there are USB powered options, but a lot of the time when you go for the these kinds of products, you usually sacrifice functionality and also the screen resolution. They do make more decked out versions of these, but the problem here is when you get portability and functionality that jacks the price up. So if you can compromise a little bit, the Dell S2415H is a great alternative. It's easy to break down and put together, has a 24 inch 1920 by 1080 display. And one of the most attractive things about this is the super thin bezels. So again, it's not as portable as some of the aforementioned options, but it's a much better bang for your buck if you don't mind moving it back and forth. So next up, I'm gonna focus on desktop essentials. And this is the wireless keyboard I'm currently using, the Logitech K811. This is the Mac version, but there's also a K810 Windows version as well. It has backlit keys with a really nice feel. And that's part of the reason why I've been using this over the K750. And then what's awesome is the three Bluetooth profiles. So you could save store and then switch back and forth between your computer, your phone, or your tablet. So next to that is the Logitech MX Master Mouse, which I've really enjoyed, but to be honest, I have seen people have connection problems with it. So really for about half the price, I'd probably recommend the Performance MX. Now, if you need something even more basic than that, Logitech has their Marathon mouse, which is around 30 bucks and is supposed to have a three year freaking battery life. Moving on to speakers. If you have a really tight budget, but still want an upgrade over your stock computer speakers, Amazon Basics has you covered. They're USB powered and they're only 15 bucks. Now, if you're looking for a step above that, these are the Logitech Z323s, which are around 60 bucks. This is a 2.1 setup so you get two speakers plus a subwoofer with adjustable base. There's also 30 watts of power so it's going to dish out plenty of volume and as far as inputs go you have RCA and eighth inch but if you paired it with their Bluetooth adapter I featured in my cool tech under $25 video bam now you got an awesome set of Bluetooth speakers. Last up as far as speakers go if budget really isn't an issue and you just want a badass set of desktop speakers these might be the best option under 250 bucks. The inline from Definitive Technology feature a built-in USB DAC or digital to analog converter with 20 watts per channel and these things get loud. What's unique about them though is the near 10 degree angle which points the speaker directly towards your ear and another nice touch is the quick access to volume and power. Lastly, I wanna take a look at useful tech, things you may not have considered but can more than likely use and the first of which being the Evernote Smart Notebook which lets you capture notes with your phone. Those dotted squares are where the magic happens and results in the cleanest possible capture of your notes but what ices the cake is the smart stickers which become tags in Evernote so you can then categorize your notes and you're not stressing out trying to find them after the fact. Following that is a vacuum. Yes, a vacuum, but not just any vacuum. This is the Lynx from Hoover and it's wireless. It's also bagless, doesn't take up a ton of space and is set up to work on carpet or hardwood floor with the flip of a switch. As far as power goes, it runs off an 18 volt rechargeable battery. And again, you probably didn't consider a vacuum, but if you're in school, you wanna make sure your floors are clean. Following that is the Cable Matters 2 Outlet Surge Protector, which might be one of the most useful pieces of tech on this list. It's obviously a surge protector with two outlets, but also has four quick charge USB ports and a dedicated slot for your phone or your tablet. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to do a Thor's hammer on that like button. And I'll also be giving away a ton of these products featured in this video randomly on Snapchat and Instagram. So follow me there. This is Jonathan and I'll catch you guys later. Some back to school tech I'd recommend is a pen for writing.